I've always been that kind of person who reads Christmas stories in summer and longs for summer and winter. I've always had the problem that I can't really fixate on the season I'm in because I'm always longing for a different one. So I find myself watching videos about spring when it's really autumn and as soon as autumn has passed I miss it already. So I decided to change it up this year and I'm going to make a bucket list for every season and then I'm going to try to do as many of those things as I can and hopefully get to enjoy each season just a little bit more. Around this time of year is when the most beautiful flowers start to bloom. But because I don't want them withering away in the glass on my shelf, I will pick only a few and then I'm going to press them. That way I can preserve a piece of spring forever. All you need to press your flowers are your flowers, a heavy book and some paper. Just pick a few of your flowers and layer them in between two tissue papers. Now all you have to do is wait a few weeks until they are ready. I don't know about you, but climbing a tree is one of my favorite pastimes. It sparks so much joy, especially right now when the flowers are all in bloom. It's just one of those things you would do daily or weekly as a kid and then as you get older you just kind of forget about it. But trust me, just try it again and it's gonna make you very happy. At least that's what it did for me. You can even read a book in the tree or what I recommend, some poems. That's really fun too. Recently, painted candles have been all over social media and because they looked so cute, I also wanted to try it. After a bit of deliberation, I ended up using acrylic paint on my candles. That means you can't burn them, but because they turn out pretty good, I don't even want to burn them. Here you can see me paint a few cherry blossoms and also poppies, which are some of my favorite flowers.
Of course I had to bake something. I love trying new recipes and this lemon loaf recipe, which I will link in the description, just looked too good not to try. You're going to need sugar, buttermilk, melted butter, flour and baking powder, vanilla extract, salt and two eggs. After combining everything in the mixing bowl, all that's left is to pour it into the greased pan. While the cakes were baking in the oven, I prepared a quick lemon syrup. I just drizzled it all over the still hot cakes. Lastly, you're gonna want to add another layer of sugar and lemon. I prepared some powdered sugar and lemon juice and then just poured it all over my little cakes. They were super delicious and very lemony, I can only recommend. <laughs> 